Hello my friends, check this out, yesterday night we hit 20,000 kilometers We have got this car less than 11 months, about uh, 10 and a half months, a little bit more And we are working with this car very hard, we are doing lots of kilometers, we don't care if uh, it costs There is no cost for us because we are traveling very cheap and we have done with no problems 20,000 kilometers less than one year so during this, pe this period we have done lots of road trips I will put a link here to check uh, our road trips if you want we have done a uh, lot of tests also uh, speed test, uh, emergency braking test uh, uh, 20,000 kilometers we, we made uh, around the Peloponnesos uh, round trip it was very interesting I will put also link at the description and uh, generally the car was performing great no problems with the car the service experience was incredible also it costs only 15 euros like uh, 16, 17 uh, US dollars incredible and the most important is that uh, during this period we were traveling is the cost of electricity, the moving cost so we will see here the stats uh, as we can see here I have got two different uh, statistics after 10,000 kilometers or 6,000 miles and after 20,000 kilometers or 12,000 uh, miles in the first five months we were doing 67 kilometers per day or 42 miles per day and then uh, the rest uh, we reduced uh, a little bit of our uh, daily mileage and here is 39 our average speed is slow it, it's only 32.6 uh, kilometers per hour or 20 miles per hour because it's mostly city driving Actually, it's mo oh, let's say only seat driving. Here is our total consumption in kilowatt hours, and here are the very important stats. For the first five months, our average consumption was 11.37 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, or 18.3 kilowatt hours per 100 mile. And then we reduced the consumption. We were driving during summer mostly and probably with uh, less speed and we knew the car a little bit better so this number it's really low our consumption is really low and here is the total cost of electricity 213 euros 243 US dollars and, and this is the greatest things we, we were doing 2 euros per 100 kilometers and after a few months, after 5 months of ownership uh, we have got the low tariff uh, electricity so we managed to reduce much more the cost of movement we were moving for 1 euro 0.76 per 100 kilometers and this is the US dollars per 100 miles this is very very low so here are also the car expenses for the car expenses here is insurance cost 236 euros or let's say 300 uh, US dollars here is extension cords and uh, I bought also one 16 amp charger and here are cleaning materials and this is the car service so these are only the cost expenses let's say for one year 466 euros 532 US dollars let's go now at the savings if we compare our car electric car with a regular Volkswagen app let's say that this car it consumes uh, 6 liters per 100 kilometers or 6 liter uh, or 10 liters per 100 miles let's say that the cost it's about 160 euros or one uh, US dollars and 88 cents so total euros per 100 kilometers it's about uh, 10 
euros or 18 uh, US dollars per 100 miles. We can see here that after one year uh, the car consume let's say 2000 euros or 2000 US dollars so we saved only from petrol after 11 months 1500 euros or 1700 US dollars and here are the monthly saving costs in the beginning we were moving more so we were saving more and the, and the average cost was a little bit higher and here we were moving a little bit less but anyway we are saving only from petrol 140 150 euros per month these are saving so that means that after five six years the difference from this car is going to be already uh, saved so these are the stats for me it's really great stuff very cheap to move no problem even if you have solar like we have good solar uh, then you are moving for free generally the car had had no issues only issues i had uh, uh, were with the application uh, some uh, troubles but generally uh, i could solve these uh, issues uh, through the e app application uh, that it's not the application you are using through internet it's the application that you are using with the car it's a different one uh, that has got also the maps the maps and more application uh, no issues for us that we were doing city driving the car is perfect I wish of course uh, to have a bigger uh, battery l a bigger range so I could make also trip the seats are very comfortable it's a pleasure to drive so no problem it's not comparing with this old Opel Corsa that quite you hate to drive it uh, we don't have to pay now for the yearly tax uh, that Opel Corsa and other fossil cars uh, has got and we, we are very happy we are love it and uh, we are not thinking anymore of I don't want to go there because it's going to cost if you want to make a small trip to Patra you're thinking oh no I have to pay 5 euro with this car you pay 50 cents something like this of course we have got the benefits of uh, uh, using the e-app because e-app is much more better than the other app cars has got a, a lot of uh, better things like cruise control, heated seats, uh, leather steering wheel and, and uh, many things many things uh, heated uh, windshield anyway I, I will put also a link about the differences I made a video about this um, generally it's pretty nice they will make an update video after where we will close one year we're happy and please buy electric cars you you are going to love this so this was the video for today I hope you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more videos about electric cars electric car and thanks for watching see you at the next one bye